so when we say atomic design right that's basically approaching the design in a constructive manner first focusing about the very smallest units of a design and then designing that and then moving to uh, a larger parts of it so this week we are going to focus on basically the atoms what are what are the smallest units that that are there uh, that we should do to construct a form and then we slowly the upcoming weeks will be uh, going into sections and then pages how do we construct a form what are the best practices if this is a form what's an atom here anything which is a unit in a particular design uh, you can consider that as an atom and when you are combining those things so you can say drop downs you can say date picker right you can say uh, all the other elements there that are there all the question marks that are there right so these are basically the elements through which you are constructing a form right when you say personal information that actually has a lot of different elements a lot of different atoms in it right so it's a section basically so the right. smallest possible unit that makes sense can you tell that what are the specifications of a particular text field so here are two different states of a text field basically one is empty one is filled so can you highlight all the things that are there all the constituents which you know make a text field so basically if you look at it constructively it consists of label then you have placeholder text you have the box in which you have the placeholder which you can say field and then the input text and the states <coughs> and the width and all those will be the properties of it right uh, for uh, that is also very interesting aspect about which we'll be talking about in the later part of the presentation but uh, that's that right but now if you are taking the text field as an example now doing a text field correctly is a challenge right uh, doing a simple thing as as simple as a text field is also a challenge there are many different ways in uh, which you can do text field you can design a text field on a foundational level there are four ways that you will observe anywhere whenever you are interacting with any digital experiences right so which are these top aligned that means that you are aligning the label on top of the field then you have right aligned on the left side of a field you are aligning it uh, right uh, justified right so all the labels you can see they are rightly uh, aligned right and then there is left aligned so even though they are on left they are left aligned so there is a distance right so you have way in which you can read all the labels at a one line right and then there is the other thing which is inside the box now people have started you uh, putting the labels in, inside the box for example full name is a label which is inside the box if we say vertical labels right the advantage is uh, you are easily able to correlate between the information that is on the top so for example name you are writing the name you are able to correlate okay i am writing the name and rapid processing because you are going in a particular direction from top to bottom so that's the advantage of course the disadvantage is increased vertical space so if you have any limited space you'll need to think about whether you want to do uh, use that or not so now let's talk about the right justified horizontal label because it is adjacent label so uh, here also it is very easy for you to correlate between the label and the information that you are entering and of course you have the reduced vertical space and because of that you can do your task very very fast in a very you know limited real estate so that can be your choice but the disadvantage is reduced readability because we always read from left to right and again if you are going back to the second line you don't know where to start right so the scanning path is being little bit compromised here so that's how you decide okay so now which label i should use for my design 
left justified horizontal labels right so here again uh, the labels are very easy to scan because at any point of time if you are going to the next line you are a- uh, able to identify and recognize okay from here i need to start the line uh, reading right so it, it is easy to scan and of course it is reduced vertical space but the disadvantage is it will be hard for you to correlate between what's the label and what's the information that you are putting in and if we talk about inside the box labels right so again the pros are reduced vertical space because you are not having to worry about whether where to put my labels top uh, left may on the left or on the right justified and it is easy to scan but the problem is once you are entering something you don't know what that information is so it's recall rather than recognition so that's the basic difference between all these uh, four uh, treatments of uh, where you want to put your labels right so you have selected this which is a mix of uh, inside the box and then top aligned label so now my question is what are all the things that you can do with the text box i mean uh, input box how many interactions are possible these are the essential states right you have in active state so that you can go and do something with it in which case it is focused now when you are typing right so okay so focus means when you are hovering and you you are trying to you know select it once you have selected you can type something on it so it is activated right you are doing something with it but then there is validation component right whether it is correct or not if it is correct it is green but if it is not correct it is red so it's an error state and it is helping you recognize okay this is the error so there is that error text that that is there and there is something in which that okay in certain cases in certain possibilities it will be active but now it is dis- deactive it is disabled so that's another state right so these are all the possibilities all the states that are there only for a text box a input box so what do you think about this particular input field here is it fine is it not fine tell us your thoughts yes and that's not the only way right so when you talk about match between system and real world one thing that sunil identified is the country code right yeah that's one but you can also talk about the overall width of the a uh, field right do you need this much width no right so if you design the phone number field that way you can quickly and very very in in uh, very very fastly you can write your country code then first part of your phone number and then second part of your phone number which is basically 4 and 6 right so yeah. as per the context you can design your atoms and yeah you can improvise on it you can put a drop down for the first field that's also fine or you can do a combination of uh, a selection you know the input field and the drop down so you can type and you can use the drop down also both are possible you have to design the appearance of input fields or any other element as per their contexts right so we looked at the example of phone number but yes when you talk about date of birth you can make it match to the real world you know as per you perceive it right you have zip code so by the uh, size of the width of it you can recognize okay this is asking for an information which is short only which is not long and you can recognize and you can put the information there if you look at the email yes they are usually longer right so you have the size so the size is also helping you and helping your users recognize okay what kind of information i want to put it there that's the takeaway